Hey, my name is Bhargav. Thank you for having me at Wiki Workshop 2024. Uh, I'm going to share my screen now and walk you through my presentation on the head and tail of Wikipedia and the value of the long tail of the information warehouse. Um, this slideshow doesn't seem to work, so we're just gonna have to do with this. Um, so what is the debate on the inclusionists versus deletionists on the long tail? So is it uh, whether we should take care of the niche content that makes Wikipedia stand out that we should maintain pages so that they're prepared to meet an information need later. And uh, is what makes Wikipedia special is that there's a page for everything. Or is it that uninterested and neglected pages take up a lot of efforts to maintain and that all that's really needed are important topics being covered? As you can imagine, everyone from moderators to contributors to scientists have something to say about this on whether uh, Wikipedia should continue to maintain its long tail and continue to have its long tail versus just focusing on important topics. Um, now, we won't be going into the kind of debates around this as much as we will be trying to act to this debate using the quantitative argument, but we will be using social theory of the notion of the long tail. Now, in the context of business for the long tail, for example, Let's take, a, let's take the example of Amazon. You have a, a head which has a lot of hit items and a few that dominate and take up a huge amount of the sales. But what makes Amazon special and also cities as you'll see is this long tail of niche unique items in relatively low quantities, but are still part of what makes it so special. Amazon is so popular because everything is on Amazon, similar to a city. Even if you don't do everything in a city, the fact that it's available is part of the appeal of cities the diversity. So now in the context of Wikipedia, what does this head or tail actually look like? Now, in, uh, we won't be going into a lot of details of the dynamics and composition, but just to give you an idea, so you can see at about the 10 to 12% mark is when we start to say that we start going into the tail. And before that, everything is in the head. This is when adding an extra page doesn't increase the fractional page views, the cumulative page views. So we see popular pages like Donald Trump back in 2022, uh, and the, you have some things like the Bible, which are always popular, uh, Star Wars, the World Cup are kind of topical items and they come up. So you have this consistent core of some topics, um, which are always, you know, throughout the months and years, always popular. And then you have these more temporal ones, which are topically popular. You know, these are broken up in terms of topics as well. You can see on the right, uh, right figure, you have a breakup of showing how things like music and film have a higher proportion of things which are in the core as opposed to the overall distribution, showing that the core is often driven by cultural events as well. But we're not looking at these dynamics of how something goes into the core or tail, even though that's a very interesting research topic. What we're looking at is identifying the value of the long tail of Wikipedia. So what we try to do is set up the quasi experiment to see how a long tail better matches an information need. So we find a situation where one article was in the tail, and in the other case, it goes directly uh, from uh, directly goes to the head without ever being in the tail when there's later an information need. So we then observe the effect of an article having been in the tail and then going to the head as opposed to directly. You can see in the bottom over here, a causal graph that shows us how this might happen. Um, again, sorry for not having the slideshow. It'd be great to have points come across, but so be it. Uh, I'll just give you an example of the experimental setup. Here in 2008, we have a Charlie XCX on English Wikipedia sitting in the tail. Um, no Charlie XCX page in Spanish Wikipedia. 2013, her first hit single, and then boom, Charlie XCX is trending in both English and Spanish Wikipedia in the heads. In one case, coming from the tail, having sat there for five years, and in one case, directly showing up in the head. Now, this is just an example to show you the kind of setup we're looking at. Uh, I Charlie XX because her album's just come out, but ideally in our experiment, which we let her show the early results of, we choose language edition pairs with similar number of users and page volume, and also with similar cultural backgrounds and influences to make it more robust. Now, what do our early results look like? We used 1750 linked pages across matching language editions, which have similar pages and sizes. And, and these early results, just the pages that go from the tail to the head slash core, rather than going directly, have higher quality markers. So them being in the tail has really helped in increasing the quality of this article. So we've used outlinks, inlinks, image count, and total section count, or the log of character count to see what exactly this is. And we find the higher values in all of these situations. So early results show that there is a value of being in the tail before going to the head. 
Now, the next steps are robustness test to see if the increased qualities because of increased interest from editors, language community, make sure it's not that, and then it's based on it being in the tail. Uh, we have to further explore the causal graph to make sure that we have very tightly identified what the effect is, if it's actually the fact that it's been around for a longer time and how that might affect our argument. And we also need to explore other quality metrics to measure the ability for something to satisfy an information need. So uh, yeah, this is our experiment uh, and we hope to contribute to this very interesting conversation of what is the value of the long tail from a sociological perspective, there's lots of reasons why it would be necessary. And these are some quantitative arguments we can also make. Thank you very much for your time and looking forward to your questions. Thank you.